Greetings gamers, I'm Penby66. Uh, I'm talking over the original com commentary because my voice is really muffled. Now, the thing with this outing for one big cock is that... Uh, <laughs> Oh, you can't hear that too much. I mean, I want to drown out my own voice. And um, the thing is, with with this match and what I've been suffering, I've been having very bad connection issues with my internet. I'm currently uploading a video as I speak. <coughs> my uh, OWC fight against um, Buster Banks and Chuck Liddell, which is a really good fight. But this <coughs> match, as you'll see, is a really bad laggy match and to say I was frustrated in this match is a severe understatement I mean this guy catches me with a peach of a punch but I'm pretty convinced because of my lack of being able to time my punches correctly because of the lag you know it's a very frustrating match but like I always say, try and adapt if things ain't working right. And that's exactly what I tried to do towards the end of this fight. And find that this guy is more or less a one-trick pony. Another frustrating aspect for me in this fight is that, you know, not just the lag, it's the fact that I know I've, I had the skill. Because I've read, I've started to read my opponent, you know. I know I had, I knew I had the skill to have beat him quite comfortably. But I can say the lag in this match was just absolutely terrible. And what makes me jealous is when I watch the rest of the Fight Night Champion community's fights, I don't see, you know, I mean, what do you just watch the speed at which some of his punches are thrown? <coughs> Excuse me. Especially the straight rights. There's one, at one point, I throw a straight right with R2 pressed. And he throws it, but he only half extends his arm and doesn't continue through with the punch. Which I'm, is, which is very, very frustrating. I mean, look at this when I'm trying to throw hooks, and he's throwing hooks. And my bot, my fighter looks like he's deformed when he's throwing punches. See, I'm moaning about it there in the background. <coughs> I've got a bad throw here. But, you know, it's quite a good match at the end of it because I start to um, realise that, you know, even though I know he's going to throw that power straight a lot, I still find it hard to avoid it because of the lack of responsiveness from my fighter, you know, look at that. Plus, you got the this freezing of the game. I tell you, after this fight, I'm very seriously considering never playing the fucking game again. Excuse me, French. And I know I swear a lot, but that's, that's that's just how I am, you know. I mean, take me to church, I won't swear, I promise. But when you put this game in my, in my PlayStation 3, then I'm going to swear, swear like a bastard, I tell you. <coughs> See? Back step straight, that's all he knows. He's probably come across a lot of fighters that just keep steaming in, just throwing punches, who just want to, you know, they're not... They're not really that experience. I've got a little bit of experience in that, you know, I can change my tactics. But I'm, like I say, I still find it hard to avoid what I, what I know is, is coming. Because the fight is about as responsive as a little old lady, you know. Anyway, there was, I had a fight prior to this one that was even worse. But at the end of the day, I'm uploading, as I say, so that's probably got a hell of a lot to do with it, you know. But all we all we need as as boxing fans is is a is a game to come out. I, I just can't understand why. You know, more more people can't more software companies, developers can't bring out a decent fight sim, boxing simulation. You know, why does it always have to be EA and their broken game? You know. I mean, look at the slowdown and the lag. Oh, look, come on. See, you hear me complaining there. Reacting with me. See, exactly, it's not fucking re reacting with me. See, there are times when he's doing exactly what I'm trying to get him to do. But the other times when, it, when he's throwing punches and missing terribly, getting caught dead easy, it's not me. It's the, it's the lag here, I catch him with a good body shot there. But I get too cocky here. Plus, I don't take into consideration... 
the lag and the lack of timing. Watch this. Bullung. <laughs> Rocky punch, motherfucker. <laughs> got crunched. The crap got, got crunched. <laughs> me gonna take up a certain kebab instead. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It was a good punch at the end of the day, but it was a, it was a punch that I knew he was kept trying to throw. But because of the, the fighter just not reacting with me, you know, I mean, that was an embarrassing knockdown for me, but I think, nah, Cox's better than this, you know what I mean? That is right. I'm going to be world champion. He's going he's gonna to at least score a knockdown himself if he gets his timing right. But it's like, you have to really compensate for the lack of, you know, it's about, the, the fight is about as responsive as someone who's pissed and, and trying to walk up a fucking hill. You know? You ever seen that video? Uh, it's called Pisshead v, v, v Hill. In other words, it's a drunken man trying to walk up a very steep hill. And uh, if, you go if you Google it on YouTube, um, you're guaranteed one of the funniest things you'll ever see in your life. It is hilarious. Anyway, I actually might watch that after this, because <laughs> watching this oh, back now, on. yeah, look, I'm really getting frustrated. So that back step straight, I mean, we all do it, but some people just, I just just know that if we had a, a lag-free game here, I would have battered him. I would have absolutely battered him. Excuse me. See, I throw the, the power straight and he just hey. throws it in slow fucking motion. <laughs> he does so. You look at that. It's like... It's like someone's uh, slowed the video down. All I know, look at this. All I know is that when you upload a video, you know, this is what you're going to get. It's my own fault, really. But I've, I've had this, no matter what, this, this kind of, you know, situation. <clears throat> back step straight, back step straight. All the time with this guy. I'm watching him all the time. I'm not... I'm not avoiding it like I know I can because obviously I don't want to keep repeating myself. But uh, notice uh, Dave the Rip one and um, relapse the playing Resident Evil Six a lot. I'll take that cockiness right off you. They're playing that a lot, and uh, the, to be honest, to me, I'm, I'm I've got one or two games that are in me, and then I just get totally pissed off with it, it's totally bored because it's just so repetitive you know and these Japanese programmers you go on the steel, be steel beast level and uh, oh there we go, he's stunned with her <coughs> but I'm, I'm, see that here I'm managing to time my counters so you know I'm getting back into, into my gear but I'm saying these Japanese programmers, you know, the imaginations they've got. And, you know, the, the comments by the, by the, uh, the Juavo, what are they called? Look how slow he threw that then. How am I supposed to compete? It's <laughs> exactly. Fair, this. It's not fucking fair. I was nearly crying. <laughs> this backstep straight, this backstepping straight more on here. You know, one trick pony. You know, very, very frustrating game. I mean, look at that. On another on a, a lag-free game, I would have caught him with a lot of sidestep uppercuts. You know, especially the amount of times he throws the straight right. <coughs> so he got me there. Oh, his bloody guitar on my chest. Excuse me, but excuse, sorry for that. But uh, I've been playing Crisis 3 and my favourite game mode is Sylvie Rebel. And getting in a game of that is like, oh, I think you have to be fucking royalty to get anywhere near. It's, um, 
very have had a few very frustrating games of that and that might be down to lag as well but also sometimes you reach a point where you just need a break I play video games a lot but a lot of my fellow gamers like Rhythm Works, Sakuraba, Relapse, Finite, well not Finite's Finest but uh, Dose or Dave the Rit one, they all, they're all online more than I, I'd say more than I am, you know, so kudos to them for having a lot of stamina <laughs> as I haven't, I can't keep playing these games, my, my eyes hurt, my head hurts, my ass hurts. Uh, my thumbs hurt, my brain hurts basically, but anyway, I'm commenta commentating on the fly as I'm watching my, my performance against this one trick pony here, I'm trying to, you know, work out a strategy, what punches to throw at the right time, I'm trying to take a account, you know, take into account how much l lag there is in the gameplay. He just taps him. <laughs> no, it does. Uh, you know, you think you've got your range and then he's just like... There's nothing more... F See that? Look at that, how slow throwing the punches. If a real boxer saw this, so they'd probably say, Man, how do you play this game? You watch two heavyweights. You know, even even two fat, fat heavyweights who are very low down in the rankings throw punches quicker than these two. You know, it's like the game just cannot cope with uh, the demands of the players. You know, that's why it freezes. Can you try to imagine a, lag, a very laggy game with 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 the game freezing as well. I mean, what I was expecting before, you know, I got anywhere in this fight was the, the damn game to turn my PlayStation off. Thankfully, that that didn't happen. But I'm just trying to, you know, watch out for that straight right because that's that's all he's throwing. So he, you can see him set himself up. Oh, but it was frustrating this game. So frustrating. But to be honest, when it comes to video games, um, I've been contemplating getting a cheap uh, copy of Red Dead Redemption. I have had the game, but as with Mortal Kombat, both game discs cracked down the middle. Not long after they bought them, and I think it was a manufacturing fault with the disc. Because I treat game discs very, very carefully, you know. So, I had two, three weeks of playing Mortal Kombat before I put the game disc in and found it was broke. And then the same happened with uh, Red Dead Redemption, but I had a good go on that one. So, I've also played The Undead Nightmare, you know. I think the graphics are really good on that game. Um... But I won't mind uh, venturing into Crisis 2. I've seen that for t a tenner near me. So you can't really go wrong. I mean, you're not really w throwing £10 away on a, a game of, of that quality. Of course, I won't pay full price for it, being a Crisis 3 player. So, so I'm pretty torn which one I'm going to get. But I know certain gamers are really stoked for the release of The Last of Us. I mean, I'm, I'm in two minds about that. I know it's, it's, it looks good graphically, and if it, you know, if it has a lot going for it, gameplay-wise, and of course, plus Rhythm Works is getting it, so, and if there's some sort of co-op mode in that game, then, you know, I'll be there. But I think one game everybody is looking forward to is Grand Theft Auto V. And that's a definite must-buy, I think, for the majority of people, you know. The, the effort Rockstar puts into that, that game is incredible. And uh, I'm, I'm not excited for Battlefield 4. The main reason is, I, of course, know it's coming out for PlayStation 3. But I want it for the PlayStation 4. And I want, I want it to be the dog's bollocks. 
and I want to be able to afford a you know, PlayStation 4 as well. So I'm really uh, confused. I don't know what to do. I really don't. I've enjoyed Battlefield 3 on the PlayStation 3. I'm sure Battlefield 4 will be even better. I've hit him with quite a few straights. Even with R2 press, he just taps him. Yep, exactly, he does. He just taps him. Now, I'd just like to mention in this video, uh, what I make an appeal on behalf of my friend, Fight Night's Finest. That poor young man, he's... Uh... Jesus, I didn't fucking press it once! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, whinging you. I wonder if he's beyond his stamina. <laughs> what I was going to say is Fight Night's Finest. He, he also uses a Roxio HD Pro like I do. But his capture card software all of a sudden has stopped working. Right, he hasn't got the disc anymore. He, you know, he hasn't got the serial number anymore. And he he's, he asked Ros Roxio for support on the problem, and the the charging charging for the privilege. Which I don't know if anybody can you know message him and uh, you know ask him what his exact problem is. Because when when he clips on clap, clicks on capture, basically, the thing just doesn't start working. It it fails to launch. The the actual launcher launches itself, but the, when you click on capture, nothing happens. And he's he's running Windows XP, and Can't understand the, tactics here. the um the capture so software was working fine up until a few days ago, and it just stopped working. And I. I was, uh, you know, trying to help him with his problem, but, uh, you know, if there's any experts out there on the Roxio HD capture software, you know, how can he get it working again? Then let him know, because he can't record his fights. He's got, he's got a backlog of fights to put on YouTube, but, you know, nothing for the future. So if you, anybody, you know, can help him, I would appreciate it, because, you know, I like the stuff he puts on YouTube. And I don't want him to get too disheartened because he was he was quite inconsolable the other night when I tried to cheer him up a bit. But anyway, <coughs> anybody knows about Roxio capture software and you know what 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 he could do to to solve his problem, then you know let him know. That's Fight Night's finest. Of course, when he fights me, I'll record the fights. Hey, I've got a fight against him recorded. He's, I fought him six times and he's beat me every time, you know. The best fight I had against him was the one I posted. Well, I managed to knock him down in the last round. But I lost the fight on points. But anyway, this is coming to... this. What, what round are we on? There's not uh, much longer to go in this one. I just cannot understand this guy's tactics. He's just trying to backstep. That was an hard two punch in his life. Yeah, it's a throw in the fall now, fuck it. Yeah, that was a, if, you, if you watch his, the way he throws a straight right then, I pressed R2 to throw it, and you're like, he only like moved his arm a little bit. He didn't even extend his arm to throw a punch, you know, it was fucking frustrating. So he's, he's trying to back step, power straight the body now. But I'm watching him all the time. Plus, you got the uh, flawed control method in this game. Have you ever found that when you're trying to backstep a little bit, to, you know, to, to step away from a punch, not just to backstep to counter, but basically it's just to back off a little bit, and then all of a sudden he, he dives forward, bobbing and weaving. You know, that that's a fault with the control method. See, if he would have carried on doing that, he might have had a lot more success. But instead, you know, he's backing off too much. But I still say this. If there was no lag in this game, I would have knocked this motherfucker out. I'm telling you now, that's what I would have done. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm carried away there. <coughs> yeah. 
There we go, stun him again. But it's at the end of the round. And uh, a bit too late to knock him down. But I was thinking at this time, well, I know I know how to get to him. He's going to go down this, this jump. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, Cot's got good hooks, you know, good chin. Fucking needs a good chin. I mean, look how this, the game slowed down there. <sighs> My heart was going ten to the dozen in this game. Not because of just fighting another human being, but the bloody, you know, the lag in the gameplay. See? Good straight right. Yeah, look, look at this. Look at this. Back step. I've always said don't be a one-trick pony. I mean, I'm no expert. I'm no real good bo boxer, but I find quite a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm, and I mean it. I'm not just saying this, but over 70% of my fights on in the OWC... I've suffered with some sort of lag where I can't really give a true account of myself. That's why I think, I mean, one thing one thing that come across when I fought Fight Night's Finest in the, the video, you know, I put on my channel, you know, I was I was uh, rock solid. He was um, James Tony. The one thing that comes across from him to me is that he was shocked at how hard it was to fight me. So that tells me that, you know, when you, when you fight your, a friend, there's virtually no lag. You know, you can give a much better account of yourself. That's why, I mean, if I fought Dave the Rip one or, or Sakuruba or Sakuraba or... Uh, I have fought Relapse and he he, um, he just over overpowered me, you know. And I knew that had happened anyway against Relapse. But there wasn't any lag, so there's no excuse, you know. Strange when you when you fight a friend, you know, get him, get him. Look at this chat. It's at the end of the round again, no. <laughs> but you know, when I fight a friend, especially rhythm works. There's, I've, I've encountered lag. You know, I've encountered lag when I fought him, but he has too. You know, because we've both probably been uploading videos at the time. You know, that's that's just how it goes. But most of the time, there's no lag, and you can really have a good fight. But I didn't want to rely on sidestepping like I do. I do that quite often, just to straight to the head, straight to the. Oh, look at that for yeah. a right hook. <laughs> You'll be crunched by the cock. <laughs> get out for a right hook, you bastard! Get down, punch me in the bollocks. That's what you get. <laughs> well, you get up. I gonna fucking kill you. I've been having all kinds of issues with the computer, you know. My, ho my hobby has totally been spoilt, you know. I was just really keyed up and really in the mood for Fight Night Champion this afternoon when I had this fight, you know. But the fight prior to this one was even more laggy than this one. But I still, I mean, he was outclassing me. He knocked me down twice, but in the final round I got to him, you know. But it just wasn't enough. It was 10 rounds, 10 three minutes rounds. It just was not enough to win the fight, obviously. See that? That's half an hour fucking later. <laughs> yeah. This fight is so, you know, so, you know, satisfying. Because I managed to get, I mean, managed to get to him towards the end. Got him there again, trying to foul, you know. Foul again. Because he, he hasn't basically the knowledge, the experience, or the skill to stop somebody who, you know, look, he, he has to spoil it totally by rage quitting. What a fucking pussy! <laughs> He's called Zzz Sleeper, yeah, and I put you to sleep, you bastard. As always, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. This is Penby66, signing off.